ground that's edible they'll eat it yeah um i wrote an article years ago it was called uh uh, killer at the pass it was a place in australia and the the property owners like the ranchers called me up and they said you need to come out and shoot some of the foxes like they're devastating our lambs and uh i ended up going out there and when i was driving in with the four-wheel drive at night with the high beams on i seen this massive big black and white ball walking between the flock of sheep with a lamb in its mouth there was this wow. pig and it had got a taste for meat and it happens all the time. Like, So a big boar, especially a mature animal, will get a taste for meat in harsher conditions and they'll just stick to meat after that. And I uh, ended up catching up with this pig the next morning and shot it with the bow. It actually attacked me. The first shot wasn't perfect and it charged me and I ended up like stabbing it to death. <laughs> I was on a slope like this on the mountain. Jesus. And it was really a battle. Like, but and he, he ended up hooking the bow out of my hand because when he charged me, I put an arrow on and shot and just went down one side and like hit one lung. And it just infuriated this boar and he was on me. And um, when I was fending him off with the bow, his tusk went into the bottom limb of the bow or the cam or something like that and ripped the bow out of my hand. And I ended up getting my knife off me and I ended up like stabbing this pig while it was like trying to run me over. Holy shit. How big was it? It was a big boar. It was like big meat and meat eating boar like this and uh like how many pounds oh fucking big that's how many pounds 300 probably not 300 200. our mountain boars just get real solid yeah probably 200 or something like that and uh anyway i end up stabbing this thing to death <laughs> and when i end up cutting it open its whole insides like its whole stomach was like lamb's hocks like the feet the bottom of the feet where they can't swallow and skulls and just like little bits of uh wool and stuff like that wow. it just been going around and just picking these lambs off and killing them wow yeah and it's a really known occurrence in australia and how that if things get harsh they'll just go they'll just because they're they're just absolutely ruthless they'll just walk right between the sheep and just fucking grab a lamb walk off of it chew it up and eat it True. but anyway first thing in that morning that i found was a pig spew and it was like this fucking spew like this and it was the same it was lambs hocks and it was What's like a spew? Bits of vomit oh you don't say spew in America? Yeah, you do, but I wasn't. I thought maybe okay. it meant something else to you. Yeah. Fucking spewing, mate. Yeah, spew. Yeah. <laughs> spew. I spewed out. Yeah, yeah spewed out. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happened at Disney yesterday. Fucking Walt Disney <laughs> spewed all over me. So they it just threw up bones and just shit? Just threw up bones and stuff that it couldn't digest, but yeah, <sighs> end up yeah, lamb killer at the park. It's a destructive animal, and they're so ruthlessly efficient in terms of like how much food they can yeah. eat. Yeah, so a deer will walk along, and it will pick... You know, this, it will just pick the tops off grass and the mm -hmm. grass regrows, you know. A pig will go through and eat that grass and it will turn it over and eat the roots and everything as well. Causes, causes a lot of erosion and then there's no regrowth because there's no roots in the ground. Because they're greedy pigs. They're greedy pigs. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, You know they're the number one cause of death on farms? Really? Yeah, apparently with uh, domestic animals, uh, people falling into pig pens. And just into them. They just, yeah, yeah. they just devour. And, you know, when you're dealing with these giant domestic pigs, mm. they get fucking huge. Massive, yeah. Yeah, hundreds of pounds. Yeah, in like western New South Wales when times get tough, which is like seems to be fucking all the time now. But um, they'll get so desperate. Like you'll shoot a pig, you're going through it for the farmer and you're just shooting them. You're not even really taking any meat off them because they're like – they're can I, they, they're eating meat themselves and they're like skin and bones and disgusting it's more of like a cull mission and you'll come back in the afternoon and that pig will be completely skin and bones because the other pigs just get in there and just and you'll hear them you'll just hear them just scream and it's the most god-awful sound there is they cannibalize they cannibalize yeah